breaking news in the Call of Duty and esports scene here. As you can see, the Boston Breach and their ownership group, Oxygen Esports, are in the process of laying everybody off and ceasing operations. This news definitely came as a shock to me. It sees notification on Twitter come through from Jacob Hale that they're laying off all their staff and ceasing operations, essentially shutting down their organization. And their players have been asked to leave their apartments by tomorrow. I really hope they had notice ahead of time and it wasn't just them told today with giving them 24 hours to get out of their apartments. And looking at the Dexter article, it's only been three years since Oxygen Esports was started, partnering with the New England Patriots and obviously their ownership group, which is Kraft Sports. And Oxygen has had teams in a bunch of esports. Obviously, we know Boston Breach with Call of Duty, but also Valorant, Rocket League, Rainbow Six, and Apex Legends. I think one of the craziest parts of this, and honestly, all this is pretty crazy because it really did come out of nowhere, was the fact that the Boston Breach players were told they're going to lose access to the facility that obviously they play and practice out of, and they have to be out of their apartments by August 8th, which is tomorrow. So I really, really hope, like I said earlier, that they were told this ahead of time. And it literally wasn't like, hey, you got to be out of here tomorrow and that's it. Because I'm guessing the org obviously pays for the facility and also pays for their apartments. But they are, of course, heading to Riyadh in Saudi Arabia to play in the Modern Warfare 3 Esports World Cup. Now, as you can see here from the rotation, apparently the Boston Breach players are still going to be playing at the EWC. And for those that don't know, as you can see right here, their roster is Cami, Awakening, Purge, and Snoopy. So it's a bit unclear as to whether or not they're going under the Boston Breach branding or if they're going to rebrand, as you can see here from Nufi on Twitter, says maybe they'll go as like Team Cami. I really don't know what they're going to do, or maybe another team will, or another organization will decide to sponsor them or pick them up for this event. But as you can see, Oxygen Esports staff has been telling Dick Serto that they've been left in the dark and that all of them are affected, including their players. And this all comes as, of course, they were heading to the Esports World Cup to play in Modern Warfare 3. They also look like they had a Rocker League summer split playoffs coming up very shortly. So it does seem like this is pretty out of nowhere, right? Because why would they commit to playing these things, especially to send a team to the Esports World Cup for COD, if they knew this was going to be happening? According to Jacob Hale, at the time of writing this, sources are saying that the board and the shareholders are attempting to resolve the situation. Who knows what that really means? But it really does seem that they're kind of going to be going under. Obviously, some sort of severance pay should be made official by Friday, which is August 9th. It feels really bad for the players, the staff, everyone that is being involved in the layoffs that are happening at Oxygen and Boston Breach. And as you can see here from Zinni Optic Methods, someone who of course has had a, you know, historic tenure to some extent on the Boston Breach, their most notable player to probably everybody in the COD scene. He says, to speak on his former team and organization, I can tell you with certainty that the staff and ownership group in Boston love and care for the community and their players. He ate Thanksgiving with them when their schedule didn't permit them to go home. They're hurting too, which is really good to see out of Zinni, right? Obviously, we know he still has love for this org. I feel like he still talks about it occasionally, but it just kind of goes to show you that like everybody from the top down in the organization, at least in Zinni's experience, does definitely care, right? They didn't want to go under. I'm sure nobody wants this, but at the end of the day, I'm guessing what happened is, you know, Kraft ownership group, right? Robert Kraft's uh, ownership group that owns Kraft Sports and Entertainment, that owns Oxygen Esports. They probably decided we're losing money. This is not worth it. Everything we have to do is totally not worth it anymore. And we want out. And obviously this is no surprise because we're seeing something similar, but maybe not to this extent with the LA Gorillas in the league, right? Obviously invited to the Esports World Cup. They denied their spot, giving an extra open spot to another challengers team as now we have five. But with what we've seen with LAG, obviously they've been trying to get out of the league for a minute now. Maybe they'll get out of the league somehow this off season, but with Boston Breach as well, that could bring us down to potentially 10 teams heading into next year. If somehow Activision doesn't find teams to fill in those spots, or maybe they don't allow teams to fill in those spots. But at the end of the day, this news was honestly super, super shocking. I did not expect this, right? This was probably one of the last orgs I almost expected this from, especially considering Boston's one really good for the scene, right? I mean, they've hosted events. They've been really good. They've had challengers teams. They've even had content creators. We got Sensor. T-Dog, Smitty, a whole bunch of people. They've been very involved in the competitive COD scene, as well as the fact that Boston is a team that at least rumoredly, or like we've heard in the, in, you know, the last few roster manias, they offer some big contracts, apparently offered a bag at Envoy last season. And they've been a team that's been willing to offer some money at some other players to try and build them as a destination people want to come play for. So th this is one of the most surprising things I think we possibly could have seen, especially as we head into the Esports World Cup. But I really do wish the best to everyone affected by this Boston Breach closing, Austin Esports layoffs, and everything that's happening. It's really sad to see for the scene and also really sad to see for the people that are affected by this. It's a sad state that esports can be in at times. Um, as much as it's fun and sometimes it seems like it's growing, the harsh reality is 99% of teams are not making money or are not at least not profiting, let alone making a lot of revenue in the first place. So 
it's not the greatest spot to be in, but hopefully we can continue to push the, uh, you know, the industry forward and eventually get to a spot where we're in a good place. But definitely let me know your thoughts on this situation in the comments and make sure to sub to the channel for more CDL and Call of Duty related content. We're on the road to 5k subs. We're almost there. I appreciate the support in all the recent videos and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.